they say that size matters. Does it matter? Do you like it bigger? <laughs> do you like it smaller? Do you like them nice and strong? Or do you like them shorter and lighter? Heavy and yellow? Or do you like them shorter and red? We're talking about jacks, people. Get your mind out the gutter. What up, YouTube fam? Whoa, that thing spun a little too much. Yo, what up, YouTube fam? Welcome back for another episode. My name is Pablo, and this is the Tire Garage TV. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for being here. I appreciate you being here. If, you, if it's your first time here, welcome. If you've been here before, welcome back. Like I said, my name is Pablo. And this is the Tire Garage TV. It's a little channel that I put together and I record it here in my little tire shop in Santa Ana, Southern California. And anything car related is what I like to show you here. We do, we go from, from doing brakes and oil changes and stuff like that. Look, I got the, I got shit on the floor already from, from doing the oil change earlier today. From doing oil changes, brake jobs, to doing lift kits on Jeeps, hitting trails on our, on the, on the in the, uh, from hitting trails and the dirty h3 to going on rallies on the challenger anything car related is what i love to show you here all right so gear if you're a gearhead you've come to the right channel and again i appreciate you being here so on this one i haven't done one of these in a long time it's a tool review i think it's going to be kind of short so let's get to it i'm comparing the i'm actually comparing just showing you not really comparing not necessarily comparing just giving you my thoughts my advice the way i see it because i use these fuckers every single day every day i use both of them so i use two but i need a third i've got one down right now but i need a third one and then i'm also going to fix the one that's down right now so that'll be on the next video so check this out this is what i'm talking about right here these are my floor jacks so last time i f i showed you i think i had this one already i did not have that one i had the shorter version of this one which i believe i threw away which i shouldn't have because honestly i should have fixed it so daytona three ton floor jack this is the pittsburgh low profile three ton i believe as well and this is the pittsburgh two ton low profile it says low profile, but to be honest, this one's lower than it. We'll do the measurements right now so you guys can see it. This one right now is out of commission. It's low on oil, and it's not lifting the cars the way it's supposed to. So I don't use it, I don't trust it, and right now it's out of commission. But on the next video, I'll show you how to fix that issue, because that's an issue that honestly all floor jacks will develop over time. It's just It just happens. It's, it's a no-brainer. Um, so I'll show you how to fix it, because I'll do the video, and then I'll show it to you. I'll post it up here in the corner so you can see it when that one is done okay as of now let me give you i mean this this is my trusty handy dandy jack this is the main one this is the one that i use for pretty much for pretty much anything bigger than like an accord you know uh an impala anything big heavy like an f-350 anything big and heavy like a, a big work truck or something that comes in this one has the power it has the lift it has the the distance too it has the the, the strength plus it's fucking sturdy it doesn't wobble it doesn't lean obviously if you're on a slant like down here there's a little, little bit of a slant here it will obviously any jack will but this one's strong enough like to lift the tahoe to lift the suburban to lift you know big cars like that easily be able to lift them easily be able to maintain them and it's been working for me for i want to say i've had this baby for like four years already i've had it for a while i had it when it first came out in fact i don't think they even make this daytona one in yellow anymore i think it's only red green and uh a couple other crazy colors um i know that snap-on sued daytona for this design because they they said it was a knockoff of theirs Look, it's Harbor Freight. It's a freaking knockoff of... It's a knockoff of everything, right? It's basically cheap tools. But these work really well, you know? These, this freaking Daytona, I've had it for like... Like I said, like three or four years. And I use this baby every single day. Every single day that it's here, it gets used. It, gets, it lifts a truck, it lifts a, a, a car, it lifts everything. So, and I've had no failures, no issues with it. Up until now, okay? Up until now, till this day three i want to say four years already in use 
it's been good so far. Back when I first got it, this this sucker was this Daytona three ton Super Duty. Was I want to say I got this baby for like two twenty. I don't know what the price is officially but i will look at it online that's the price that you get these for if you go to the store i may need another one too i'm probably going to go and get another one but i'm debating whether to get the smaller one of this because sometimes i just need different sizes look i'm a tire shop i get all kinds of crazy cars that come in here sometimes and different sizes and it's good to have the different jacks because well if i can't lift the car i can't fix the tire so you know, I need them here. So that's the Daytona. Good, reliable jack. If you're DIY at home, it's it could could be really useful jack for you. So it could be something that you can really use. Okay, just depending what kind of car you have at home. Um, let me show you the next one. This one's out of commission, so I won't talk about this one too much. But it is the low profile. It will go into like lower cars. Let's say like if you a Prius gets a flat. This one doesn't fit under it. That jack doesn't fit under it, but this one does. It easily goes right in there, lifts it from the pinch weld, and lifts the car easily. So I need to get this one back into commission, and I need to do that soon. So like I said, I'm gonna post that video when I fix this baby on the next one, all right? That video is coming up soon. And let's move on to our newest one, our newest jack, lightest, easiest to use, easiest to move around, probably the quietest one too so when you drag it around the shop and this thing these these fuckers are loud i mean everybody can hear you but with this one it's everybody's still gonna hear you but it's a little quieter okay it is light as hell it almost weighs i want to say probably weighs about less maybe than the aluminum ones do but it's a two-ton and it's also really short i tried to lift a ford ranger that that i did a a lift kit a level kit on and this sucker just couldn't do it and i recorded it i took the opportunity and recorded that so let me take you back to that video so you can see i ended up having to use the daytona let me take you back to that video let's go and in this situation for example we got a 2022 ford ranger level kit tires check out this video because i did the uh i have a video on this one too when we did the whole the whole setup but anyways, let me show you. If I do, so I'm trying to take, get this wheel up, right? So I can do the retorque for this baby. If we set it up. Look how that's as high as it goes. Check it out. Boom, that's as high as it goes. And this tire is still, is still not up in the air. So even though it's a good, cheap, strong option, in some cases, it's not good enough because, well, it doesn't reach. Now this sucker, this sucker lifts it with ease. Check it out. Boom, it's already in the air. So I can go ahead and do whatever, whatever I need to do to it. And that's a big deal. So after showing you the lifting capabilities of the Daytona and the Pittsburgh, the red one, let me show you the, uh, the size differences. They say bigger is better, huh? Huh, huh? Maybe it is. Well, let's get this one out of the way since this one's not really in commission. Let's put them next to each other so you can kind of see the size differences. So here's the difference between the two, okay? The red one, the Pittsburgh, is about 23 inches long, whereas the Daytona is about 32 inches long. The difference between the two, two ton versus three ton. This is bigger, heavier, to drag it around is heavier, to move this one around is a lot lighter. So it just depends what you're after when you're doing stuff at home, okay? If you drive a lowered car, you gotta have, you gotta look out for this too, you know? You're looking at about four inches right there, right? 
that's the Daytona whereas with this one you're at about four you're at about three and in, in three inches and three quarters actually this one's about three inches three quarters too my bad so about three inches three quarters for both of them like I said earlier this one you'd put under a Prius look at this one right under three inches right under three inches so this one if you put it under a lowered lowered car this is probably the one you're gonna want to get because it's low profile it definitely is a lot easier to fit that one under a, a dropped car or under a flat car like let's say a flat Prius versus these two these two will definitely not fit so in terms of size difference there it is between the two this one's definitely bigger Daytona is definitely bigger Pittsburgh is definitely shorter they're both very much capable though of dropping lifting and supporting a car while you take off a tire personally personally if it were me if I were at home in my garage and I needed a floor jack like this which one would I pick it all depends what car I have if I uh, like let's say I have the Challenger it's a low vehicle not too high not too low the red one the two-ton Pittsburgh is probably enough to lift the tire off the ground but I haven't tested it yet either for example I tested it on a RAV4 and even a RAV4 it's not big enough to lift so you gotta be if it's it's really got to be something smaller in order for you to use like a Corolla like a Civic in order for you to be able to use the Pittsburgh two-ton because if it's if you're not gonna be able to get the wheel off the floor then you know uh, I wouldn't recommend it it's not gonna do the trick it's not gonna do the job for you but would I recommend the Daytona I would it's big it's heavy it does the job I would rather have a lot more capacity on the floor jack than have just enough capacity you know what I mean even if I'm lifting a Civic I'd rather have the two ton, the three ton than the two ton even if it is two tons enough to lift the Civic I probably still prefer to have the three ton if I have the option so basically it just depends what you have at home and what you drive at home what you're planning on using at home if you're at a shop I definitely recommend get two of them get three of them in fact get four different ones because at a shop you definitely need different ones on the one occasions you're gonna need one on others you're gonna need the other and it just works that way if you're at a shop get two get three I would say get two and three of each <laughs> if you're at home just pay attention to what you are lifting so in conclusion it really just depends what you need to lift what car you have at home that you need to lift so for most applications I'm gonna say go with the Daytona for certain applications the Pittsburgh two-ton is just as good just as good does just the job and does everything you'll need it to do so it really depends what you what you need it for that's my answer I'm sticking to it and let me know what you think let me know if I miss something too because maybe I can add it for the next video so if I miss something put it down in the comments let me know I'm gonna start reviewing the comments more often too I find myself you know just delay I don't really check them that often but I will I'll start checking the comments a lot more often be able to be there more often and you know answering people's questions and stuff like that I get a lot of people who even call me here at the shop so you know call me up if you have questions questions on stuff if I can help you out I will if I can't then you know I'm just maybe I'll guide you to where you can find answers but you know I'll, I'll, I do the best I can right so I want to show you one more thing though I don't know if you noticed this things that I do to the jacks when I have them here once I get the jacks here to the shop things that are just really useful for me it's a little magnet that I stick on it I don't know if you noticed it or not but check this out it's probably a stupid little thing but hey it works for me look this magnet tray is a magnet that sticks to the to that little panel on the uh on the uh on the jack and what i do is let's say i lift the car take the lug nuts off i use that thing to hold any tools that i use to hold any lug nuts that i use that way they don't roll freaking under the car like they often do and it holds everything in place for me i go do what i gotta do do the patch do what i gotta do set the lug nuts here then when i come back they're nice and in the same place 
So check that out. Go get them. In fact, buy these metal, buy these magnet trays. I'm gonna post the uh, link down below in the comments. Help me support the channel. I know they're small. I know they're cheap, but hey, anything helps. Supporting the channel, help me stay making these videos. I want to be clear too. I am not a Harbor Freight ambassador. Harbor Freight did not pay me for this. These are my opinions. I paid full price for these things. In fact, you don't need, even need to pay full price for these things because Harbor Freight always has freaking coupons. Go on a holiday, save your money, put your money together. Fourth of July is coming up. I know they're going to have sales. I know they're going to have specials. I know they're going to have coupons. So buy, if you're going to looking for a jack, just wait to buy it in July. Shit, get it for Father's Day. Father's Day is closer. Father's Day sales always at Harbor Harbor Freight. You know, they always give a good discount too. So, so look for that. Don't pay full price. Never pay full price at Harbor Freight. Because they always have sales and they always give away shit all the time. There's always coupons floating around. Alright? So, thank you for watching. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you being here. Let me know what you think in the comments. If I'm missing something or if you want to see something else get reviewed. Let me know. Give me a shout out there. Yo, one more thing before we go. I'm going to post my Instagram up here. I'll post the shop Instagram up here. Go follow those two accounts. I'm pretty active on there. So anything you need, any DMs, hit me up there. And I'll definitely get back to you. Cool? All right. Catch you on the next one. Catch you on the next one. Thank you for being here. Let's get out of here. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. Let's get to work. <laughs>